My intention is to highlight the urgency of changing Nigerian education policy to serve the need of, the, of Nigerians. A professor of education and psychology, Onimisi Eko Abdullahi, of the Faculty of Education, Department of Social Science Education, University of Illinois, has called for a radical overhaul of Nigeria's education system, citing systemic inconsistencies as hindrances to effective implementation of developmental issues. In a lecture, the university's 266th inaugural lecture titled A Psychological Perspective on Systemic Inconsistencies in the Nigerian Educational System. Professor Blay identifies some areas requiring urgent attention. According to the Dawn, the current assessment method, which relies heavily on written examination, encourages cheating and should be replaced with more objective method, including practical sessions. The professor further recommended a review of Western education framework to develop a functional curriculum aligned with Nigerian culture, values, and aspiration. To an august audience, and again, so as not to venture into the task of carrying coal to the castle or taking ice to the Eskimo, my intention is to highlight the urgency of changing Nigerian education policy to serve the need of, the, of Nigerians. Therefore, that given the, the, the circumstances, can Nigerian youth develop good match between their interests and aptitude? Can youth show deep appreciation for some occupation and work towards efficiency and personal psychological adjustment in life in relation to the occupation and career choice? Considering the difference listed above in our secondary education and the development of civic responsibility in the society, does our secondary school uh, education system at the end of the lecture, Professor Nimi Sebdlai, speaking with our correspondent, relayed his research work summarizing the causes of backwardness in the African educational system. What, I'm, what, I, what we summarize in the paper is that the colonial education system, both in the, in the past and present, did not serve us. We must strive mm. to make our indigenous education uh, relevant to our culture, our ethics, our hard working, our honesty rather than what we have now that is corruption, uh, prostitution, uh, cultism, and all that all, all in, in the school system. So if our education is well uh, structured, we will overcome all our present uh, ease and predicament. Families, friends, and supervisors of the lecturer, as well as his associates, express their views about working relationship with him. My name is um, Dr. Abdullahi Abdulmumin. Um, I'm Professor Abdullahi's son. My name is Mrs. Salamat Abdullahi Noiza. Okay, I know it has not been easy. I, we started right from the scratch. Once I got married to him, I know he's an academician. So he actually drew my attention into academics. Although, can I say that I was thinking that it's not going to be possible for both of us and I had to diversify to administration, so and he is an uh, academic. So then, uh, if, uh, with all indications, whenever he's away, I'm not bothered, he has to stay in the school and do his academic work and he normally comes late. So he's somebody whom I have known right from the scratch. He has a Tayangra way of life. He leaves house, from the house to the mosque, from the mosque to the school. And I know from there he comes back. I trusted him in, enough that he will never go outside all these things. And whatever he does in the school, when he comes home, he tells me that this is what he has been in the school doing. So we have been coping. There is no problem at all, but I know it's not easy. So he stays in the school longer even than coming home. So, but yet I was still able to bear with him. In fact, a friend of his met me. So uh, immediately I finished my teacher's college. That was uh, in 1983. So a friend of his, he was, 
he's also he also attended this uh, program Alaji Sali Ubabamba is in the educational sector so he is the one who interviews people immediately you finish your teacher's college you have to walk to the local government uh, uh, secretariat to go for the interview before one is employed to teach in the primary school when i got there his friends just saw me and greeted me. I never knew what is behind his greeting me specially. So now he followed me to my house. He was asking that, where do you live, where do you live? I said, oh, I live in this so place. This is our own family or something. He followed me, he came home and saw my elder sister. He now explained to my elder sister that, ah, he likes me, he wants to marry me. Oh, my sister was telling me, I never understood what the issue was even saying. So eventually they came together. He told me that uh, he's doing his uh, first degree in Bayro University. He wants to marry me, he wants to do this, he wants to do this. I said, oh. well, my, I came here for, I came to the local government for interview and I've still not gotten employment yet so that is what i'm after so i'm not ready for marriage i want to get employed before i talked of marriage he now told me there is no problem you'll be employed so he now followed it up with his friend and i was invited there to come and collect letter i got letter for appointment from there the man now followed me home so the issue of marriage now came up he met my parents and they all uh, like his, his styles of life and they said well i have not married i've just finished grade two so there is no problem if you are ready to marry us if she agrees to marry you there's no problem but the way they have seen you they see you as a responsible person so from there the issue of marriage just comments <laughs> It's not, it's not been an easy one, but one thing I can share to you is he's a disciplinarian and he taught us the values of life. Growing up with him, I cannot ask for another father again because he's been the most amazing father I've ever seen. His dedication, his passion, his, his, his willingness to, to push you to, to succeed, I've never seen it in anybody. And I know that with that he has instilled in me, I'll be able to pass on to my son and future generation. He's an icon, he's my hero, I call him my personal hero, and I say he's the best dad I've ever seen. I'm Professor Mary Ogechie Sere. Professor Nimitsi, if I may use, I, I don't know whether I got the pronunciation very well. He's a very amiable person. I used to call him Fufu Visi because he, well, he served as the director of Remedia Studies and that Remedia is located at Fufu. So up to today, he's still Fufu Visi for me. Very amiable, very approachable very easy to work with. Actually, we even conducted a research together on uh, psychological techniques in, in improving uh, academic performance of uh, secondary school students. So I'm happy that he has been able to do it today. I wish him well. Uh, the celebrant of the day, Professor Abdullah Onimisi. He has been my supervisor from the master level. Uh, he supervised me at master level. I want to say the celebrant of today is a father to me indeed. When it comes to diligent uh, supervising the supervisee, he really tries. All my work, diligently he will go through it and like a father he will advise and at the end of the day I have success in that master level. Now I'm also a current supervisee for PhD under him and then he has done a lot. I pray for him that God will grant him long life and the long life that he has delivered today, he will enjoy it and the children they will be in high fly and achieve greater height. Guests were later treated to light refreshments at the open arena where friends took pictures and reminded themselves of the old good days with Professor Nemesi Abdullahi. <laughs> It was indeed an eye-opening lecture on reasons we have serious setbacks in the educational system and if all suggested issues are addressed, 
Nigeria will be a better place for it.